G'day! My name's Nathan Linzel, and welcome to episode number 48 of the Fine Art of Distraction. So, on today's episode, I've actually decided to do something that I've never, ever, ever done before. Ah! <laughs> oh, ah. I got a little bit sunburnt, so that hurt. <laughs> and the reason why I got sunburnt, well, you'll have to wait and see. I'm going to show you that next week. <laughs> I will give one little hint. I actually met up with two of the most amazing friends that anyone could ever ask for. It was such a special day and we all had so, so, so much fun. It was the best day ever. <laughs> Alrighty, so um, I mentioned just a second ago that I'm going to be trying something that I've never done before. Well, I lie a little bit. I lie in a way because I'm going to be doing a galaxy piece. So I've done many galaxy pieces and I love galaxy pieces. But the, the technique that I'm actually going to be um, doing, I've never tried before. So I'm jumping in the deep end. And I'm going to be giving it a go. <laughs> it's a little bit a little bit scary, but I'm very excited to try it. <laughs> so enough of me waffling on. Let's head over to the table. I'll show you what products I'm going to be using. And I guarantee as soon as you see what um, products are on the screen, you'll definitely know what technique I'm going to be doing. <laughs> All right, guys, let's head over there now. Thanks, guys. Alrighty then, so here's all the products we're going to be using today, and as I said in the intro, I'm going to be trying something new, spray paint art, yeah! <laughs> I've been hanging to try this out for such a long time, and I'm going to do it today, you! <laughs> and the word for the day is trying. I'm going to be trying my luck <laughs> in spray paint art, you! Alrighty guys, so... Um, one thing that I'm going to be doing slightly different to most of the other artists out there, like most of the other spray paint artists, I'm actually going to be using a canvas today. 90% um, of the spray paint artists out there actually use a gloss um, page. Um, I don't have any gloss cardboard or gloss paper. I've only got um, blank canvases. So I'm going to try my luck with a canvas. Um, I have watched a couple of um, tutorials on YouTube with artists that do use canvases and basically all they say is you will use a lot more paint um, on a canvas rather than a gloss page because basically the, the spray paint is going to absorb into the canvas where the um, if you would use a gloss page it's basically get, basically going to sit on top and it, it won't absorb. Alrighty guys, so let's get on to the actual products themselves. So you might be looking here and thinking, why the heck does he have six cans of gold and two cans of black? Well, I don't. <laughs> they're actually two different grades. So they're all Montana, but we've got the brand Montana Black and Montana Gold, okay? So the, the main difference between um, the, the Montana Black and the Montana Gold is basically the nozzle. The Montana Black will actually disperse the paint a lot wider and the Montana Gold is a lot shorter and a lot sharper, okay? So the Montana Gold is great for um, more detail stuff and the, the Montana Black is good for sort of filling um, the area, okay? The colours that I'm, I'm going to be using today, so um, as I said in the intro, we're going to be doing a galaxy piece. So we've got Montana Black in black and white. So I'm going to use the Montana Black to sort of fill the area um, in, in black, basically. And I'm going to use the Montana Black in white to do the stars. And in the Montana Gold, we've got black, white, blue green, red, and yellow, okay? Another thing that you will need um, to do a galaxy piece is a piece of paper, or you can use plastic or anything like that. Basically, what you're going to be doing with the paper or plastic, um, you're going to basically scrunch it up. <laughs> That'll make so much more sense when we get to it, okay? <laughs> 
To make the galaxy or the the planet, you will need some sort of round um, lid of some sort. You can use a bowl if you really wanted to. Um, but make sure it has a nice, clean, um, sharp edge. Um, and then you will need something to weigh that down. Now this is actually wood putty. I'm not going to use it as wood putty today. I'm actually going to use it as a weight. And basically by weighing that down, it's going to um, stop any sort of, of the other colors going underneath the lip of the lid. Another two products that you're going to um, need when using spray paint. Firstly is gloves. Spray paint is so much harder to get off your hands than acrylic paint. <laughs> so I won't be saying, look at these hands today. <laughs> um, and, and another thing that is a must is a respirator. Um, the, the fumes that come off spray cans is quite toxic um, and, and it's really bad to sort of breathe in a lot of that. So definitely do yourself a favor, get yourself a respirator. If you don't have a respirator, make sure you're in an extremely well ventilated area. Um, the best ventilation area you're gonna get is do it outside. <laughs> um, but I'm gonna be doing it in my um, little art studio here. So I'm gonna be using my respirator. Um, so I will be doing um, a lot of um, voiceovers during this because you won't hear what I'm saying when I've got the respirator on. And I've also already got um, both windows wide open, okay? All right guys, now that I've showed you what products I'm gonna be using, let's head over to the other table where I can actually make a little bit of mess and then yeah, let's get going. Thanks guys. All righty guys, I'm so excited to try this out. Woo! <laughs> All righty, so basically what we gotta do first is make an outline of where we want our planet to go. So, I mean, I, I don't know how um, important this step is, but it seems that all the other artists do it, so I'm gonna do it as well. <laughs> so, and because it doesn't really matter where the planet goes, how about we sort of just uh, chuck this anywhere? Well, it's a bit too close. <laughs> All right, so let's pop him there, actually. Let's go there. We'll pop him there. <laughs> All right, so now let's choose some colors. How about we choose, how about we go red? And what goes well with red? Let's go green. So we'll go red and green for the planet. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna make an outline of the planet first. So basically, so they just go around him. There we go. So that's where our planet is going to be. And now what we've got to do, we've got to fill it in. Okay, so I'm actually just um, going to be doing a voiceover for a bit because um, I actually forgot to put my respirator on. So I'm actually putting it on pretty much as we speak right now. Um, but at this stage, what I actually want to do is also give a massive shout out to Tom Willie Wells. Basically, he is my biggest inspiration for spray paint art. Um, definitely do yourself a favor jump onto YouTube and check out Tom Willie Wells. Um, I will link his um, channel in my description box, but definitely do yourself a favor because his spray paint art is like next level. Like you would think he has used a paintbrush. That's how good he is. So please do yourself a favor, check out Tom Willie Wells. You won't be disappointed. <laughs> okay, so back onto um, my piece that I'm doing now. Um, I was actually so excited to get started that one, I forgot to put my respirator on and also two, I forgot to put my gloves on. <laughs> so basically, as you can see, I'm actually putting my respirator on um, as I'm speaking right now. And now that I've put my gloves on, now it's time to actually make some art. <laughs> so basically what we've got to do, we've got to fill in the actual um, planet um, first. So basically I'm just gonna sort of fill it in with a bit of green as you can see there, 
Then I'm going to go over the top of it with some red. And a little bit more green. And a little bit more red. <laughs> and a little bit more green. <laughs> And basically, with a planet um, in, a, in a galaxy piece, basically, you, you want um, half, or not, not half, but one side of the planet to be dark and the other side of the planet to be light. So basically, what we're going to do, we're going to spray some black on, on part of what I've just put down. Um, but as you guys know, this is my very first attempt at doing this, and I was a bit shy in putting too much black down. Like I was a bit too afraid to put too much down. Same with the white. I actually should have put down a lot more, but I'm still extremely happy um, with the end result. Um, but it's all a learning curve and um, I'm, I'm glad um, that I've, I've, I've done this because I can see what to do next time. Um, yeah. So basically what I'm doing here is basically just scrunching up the piece of paper. If you've got plastic, that's fine. But basically just putting the crunched up piece of paper over the top, then running my fingers over um, the actual uh, wet spray paint, and then basically peel the paper back. There we go. So I've noticed here that um, not much of the red sort of came through, but that's okay because we can go over it again. <laughs> so basically just putting a little bit of red down, then a little bit more green. Now I should have applied a little bit more black here, but again, I was a little bit nervous to put too much um, black down. And also with the white, I should have put a little bit more white down. But again, it's all a learning curve um, because this was my first attempt. Um, so basically, um, we put the paper back over the top. Give it a bit of a wipe with my fingers. And then there we go. Peel it back. Hey, presto. That looks pretty sick if you do ask me. <laughs> I might be a bit biased. <laughs> Okay, so basically um, what we've got to do now is let this dry for a little bit um, because if you put the, the lid over it while the, um, the paint is still um, wet, basically when you pull that lid away, you're going to have a white ring left on there. So basically I'm actually helping the drying process here by just um, uh, blowing it with a, a, a sheet of cardboard um, just to help that drying process out and help it dry a lot quicker. And here I'm just sort of touching it to see how it is. And there we go. We're ready to go. So basically, I'm just going to put the, the lid back over the top of the now dry paint. Make sure I get it in a good position. And now I put the weight on top of it. The reason why you need some sort of weight on top of um, the lid that you put down is so basically none of the other um, spray paint sort of seeps underneath and bleeds into it. So basically we're going to use the Montana Black in the color black to basically coat the whole surface of the actual canvas. The reason why we're using the Montana um, black um, is because the it disperses the paint a lot wider, as I mentioned in the uh, in in the products listing. You can see here that the actual canvas is is actually absorbing the actual um, paint into the into the actual canvas, so I'll, I will be going over it again. But being a canvas, make sure to get your sides, as I'm just doing here. Because you don't want any sort of big sort of um, bold spots, like any, any sort of blank spots left on there. I mean, you can fix it afterwards, but it's better to do it on the go. <laughs> 
So I'm just sort of um, going over the canvas again because of how much the paint did get absorbed into the actual um, canvas because you want a good coverage of paint over the whole canvas. Jeez, I'm saying canvas a lot, aren't I? <laughs> okay, so now that we've got black all over the, the canvas, I'm, I'm wanting to sort of put like a bit of a, a, a nebula sort of gas explosion through the sky. So basically I'm going to get some um, yellow and just sort of go lightly across in a diagonal sort of fashion, like so. And then I'm, I wanted to go all the way to the corner, but I want a bit of color in it. So I'm going to go some green, followed by a little bit of blue. And then in the corner there, I'm thinking I might go red. Like so. I tell you what, this is actually already looking really cool. <laughs> I'm so happy with it. Now, if you notice that any of the colors that you put down are a little bit too bright, basically just get the, the black spray paint and just lightly spray over the top of it. As, you, as I'm just doing there. And how good is that looking already? I'm so happy with how this <laughs> turned out. <laughs> okay, so now basically I'm wanting to put like a big star on the right hand side there as I'm pointing out there. So basically to, to do a big star, you get like a nice um, flat edge. So I'm using a bit of cardboard here. I, next time I, I do this, I think I'll use like a sheet of like, maybe like um, a sheet of one ply. Um, just so it's a little bit firmer. And so basically to, what I'm going to be doing here is I'm, I'm going to spray um, close to the edge of the actual cardboard and basically allowing the mist of the spray to then hit the canvas. As you'll see here, I'm spraying about sort of a quarter of the way up onto the actual cardboard and allowing the mist of the actual paint to hit the canvas like so and we just repeat that so we're doing like a cross and then an x but when you are doing this make sure you watch the puddle of paint on the actual cardboard because it does start to pull up as you can see on the cardboard there and you don't want that to sort of then drip onto your actual um, canvas or board whatever you're sort of doing so basically I'm, i just sprayed a little bit of white in the center and now what i'm going to be doing now is basically i, I want to put like a little bit of color there so i'm going to put a, a little bit of yellow in the center and then i'm going to go over the top of that again with white um to me i, I like that look um just because um it makes it look in my eyes a little bit more realistic I mean, that's what I think. <laughs> I tell you what, I'm so happy with how this is turning out. <laughs> so now I'm just sort of saying um, we're going to be putting some stars over the whole canvas. And basically the easiest way to do that is by flicking white paint onto it. So basically I'm just going to spray a little bit of white um, into my hand and then flick it onto the actual canvas. So I'm just showing you there that's on my hand and whoopsie daisies, as I brought my hand across, I dripped a little bit. That was a big whoops moment there, wasn't it? <laughs> Again, all learning, 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 learning. <laughs> so I'm just flicking more. At this stage, you can put as many or as little um, sort of flicks on there. Um, so I, I'm actually putting a little bit more because I wanted a, a few more stars. And I'm actually just about to start talking again, so I'm actually going to um, stop talking and allow me to talk on the actual um, screen. Thanks, guys. Alrighty, guys, I'm loving how this is looking so far. Um, but we've got to um, put like a, a clear coat over it now. And I actually forgot to put that in the um, in the products listed, so you will need like 
some sort of um, clear um, coat. Alright, so I'm just going to whack my um, respirator back on. Okay, so with the um, the clear coat, you basically want to coat the whole canvas. So basically, I'm just starting down the bottom just to get like um, all of the bottom bit. And now I'm going to go sort of all the way across, left to right, left to right, left to right, all the way till I get up to the top of the actual canvas. And then I'm going to start on the left hand side and then go up and down. Um, the whole way across so up and down up and down up and down up and down all the way till I get um, to the right hand side <laughs> And then I'm just going to sort of go over it once more time sort of going on a sort of almost like a diagonal sort of um, Motion just making sure oh actually I'm, I'm just getting um, the edges as well can't forget the edges because it's a canvas. If this was actually a um, board um, or like a, a glossy board of some sort, I wouldn't have to worry about the edges. Okay, so now I'm going to sort of go diagonally across it just to make sure that I've, I've got every um, spot on the canvas. Alrighty, so um, I'm actually just about to start getting quite excited, so I might stop doing the voiceover and allow my excited self to take over. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Woo! <laughs> this is sick! Yeah! <laughs> I'll tell you what, I am super, super, super stoked with how this turned out for my very first attempt. Yeah! <laughs> dance I'm doing the happy dance oh yeah <laughs> this is well wicked yo <laughs> I tell you what guys do yourself a favor go out and grab some spray cans because this is so much fun oh, I had so much fun creating this <laughs> yo I just want to take this opportunity to say thank you all so, so, so much for joining me on, on my very first attempt at doing spray paint art. This is so much fun. you got to try it out. You! <laughs> all right, guys. If you like what you saw here today, please hit the like button. I'd love to see lots of likes for this being my very first attempt at spray paint art. And if you're not yet subscribed and you feel like subscribing to my channel, please hit the subscribe button. Then hit the dark bell, that'll actually indicate when I upload new videos. And if you think any of your friends or family might like to see how I created this, please forward it on to them, I'd love for them to have a look at it as well. Alright guys, one more time, thank you so 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 much for joining me on this episode, I had so much fun with this one! And this is the fine art of distraction. <laughs> <laughs>